Hey guys, it's Rachel, and today I am going to be doing a high-end makeup starter kit. Um, I thought that this would be a good video to do because I know that when I started wearing high-end makeup, I had no idea where to start. So I figured this would give you guys a good idea. Um, I picked all um, products that were still available, that are still available as far as I know. Um, and I also have some brushes to show you as well that I think are good starter brushes. So, yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so to start with foundation, I have two options. Um, the first option is the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. This is in the shade Medium Ivory. I think this is around $45. You can get at Sephora and at department stores. Um, and then the other one is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. Um, and this is in the shade 3.5. So the difference between the two, um, this one is probably more medium to full and this one is definitely full coverage. Um, this one is around 39-ish dollars. So there's like a little bit of a price difference, but not really much to make a difference if you know what I mean. Um, this one, just like it says, is weightless. Like you can really not feel it on your skin. I'm wearing it right now and I can't feel it. This one, however, is a bit heavier. Um... As far as one that I prefer, I really do like the Laura Mercier one probably like a little bit better. I mean, they're both great and I love them both. Um, but this one is just such a flawless coverage. Um, it is heavier, but honestly, like once I have it on, I can't really tell. But I do really like both of these and I would recommend either one. It's just really personal preference. Um, for concealer, I have the Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer. This is in the shade Cool Sand. And this is around $23, I think. Um, from um, Sephora or department stores and um, this is really great it's really creamy it's really pigmented it has really good coverage um, for pimples and under your eyes and stuff if you want to use it for under your eyes um, however I would say before you go and buy at full price normally I can find these at the CCO um, for around $16 so $7 is $7 um, so I would definitely recommend you check there first then for a setting powder, my favorite is the MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. Um, yes, it is a powder foundation technically. Um, you can get a little bit of coverage out of it, but I really just like using it as a setting powder. Um, here is what it looks like. Um, this is the second one I've used, and as you can see, I've hit pan on this one pretty greatly. But this powder is just so good because it is not cakey at all. Like You could get one brand new and use all of the powder up in one go, and you would just not look cakey. It's so good. Um, and they last a really, really long time. This is around $28 to $30. Um, but they last me around a year. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend you check this out. It's just so, so good. Really finely milled. Just really, really nice. Then I have some cheek products. So, first, of course, is my favorite bronzer. And it's Benefit Hula Bronzer. I'm not going to talk about this much because I've talked about it a ton on my channel already. Um, but this is just a great matte bronzer. It looks good on everyone. And it's around $28 from Benefit. Um, and I've had this for over a year, and I just hit pan on it, and I use it basically every day, so, um, it's a lot of product for the price you pay. For blush, I picked something that was seasonally appropriate, um, and that is MAC's Plum Foolery Blush, and this is just a really, really pretty purple blush. These are around $21, and I just love this because it's so pretty for this time of year. Um, it's just a gorgeous blush. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it, but it is just beautiful when you put it on your skin. And I think that this could work for a lot of different skin tones, so definitely check this out. For a highlight, I chose another MAC product, and this is the Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. And I like this product because, yes, it is expensive. It's around $30, but it comes with a ton of product, and it is um, great for different things. You can use it as a highlighter or you can use it as an eyeshadow. It's really versatile, which I really like about it because if I'm gonna spend that much money on a product, I wanna be able to use it for more than one thing, you know? So here's a swatch of Soft and Gentle. Um, like I said before, this product is great because you can use it for several different things. I like to use it as eyeshadow, you know? It just depends on um, what I'm in the mood for. It's just gorgeous, and I would highly recommend that you check that out. And they also have this product in other shades, so you can find, you know, whatever shade you like the best. Now for eye products. For an eye base, I chose to go with Painterly uh, Paint Pot from MAC just because I feel like it's great for everyone. Um, they do have other shades, so, you know, if you're more pink or more yellow, you can just choose one that matches your skin tone best. But I like this one, 
and this is just a great base. I think these are around $20, um, and they don't crease. They act as a primer and a base, um, and they cover up all the veins on your eyes, which I think is a really great product because um, it gets a lot of things done in, with just one product. For eyeshadow, I chose two eyeshadow palettes that I feel like would be really great for a lot of people. The first one is the Lorac Pro Palette. This is $42, um, and this is great for people who like matte shadows but also still like shimmery shadows because it has um, eight matte and eight shimmery, um, and they correspond so they kind of go together so you could create looks with them. Here's a close-up of what they look like. So this is a really great value because you get 16 eyeshadows for $42. Um, so this is a really just a really great value and it's a great palette for traveling. The next palette is the Naked palette which is just something you can't go wrong with. Um, out of the Naked 1, 2 and the Basics palette, this one is my favorite which is why I chose it. This one is definitely for people who prefer more shimmery eyeshadows um, in, on the lid and in the crease. There are two matte but it is definitely mostly shimmery. Um, but I decided to go with more neutral palettes because I feel like those are more versatile and something good to get started with. Um, so those are the two eyeshadow palettes that I chose for this video. Next for eyeliner, I chose a brown and a black um, because I feel like those are the most neutral. And, you know, you don't want to go with crazy colors when you're first getting into high makeup because you want to pick things that you're going to use a lot. Um, so they're both the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencils. You guys know those are basically the only eyeliners I use. Um, and I picked Bourbon for the brown one and Perversion for the black one, um, which is like the blackest eyeliner. I think that you can probably find these are $19 um, each, but Urban Decay has great sales all the time where you can get them cheaper or they have sets where you can get them cheaper. Um, but here are what they look like. Here's what they look like. Um, and they're really pretty. The brown one does have a bit of shimmer in it, but nothing that really shows up. But the black is like a very, very dark um, black is black, um, and it's matte, so. Then for mascara, I chose the Benefit Their Real Mascara, and this is a mini size because I typically don't buy high-end mascara, um, just because I feel like you can find drugstore alternatives that are just as good, but if you did want to buy one, this is the one that I would recommend. Um, I have had this several times, um, um, in, like, the little travel sizes, and it's so good. It has this little thing at the end so you can get every single lash, even the little small ones, which I think is really, really cool. And this mascara full size is $23. However, I would recommend that you buy a travel size one first, which is $10, just so you can see if you like it. Now, moving on to lips, um, I have two lipsticks, a lip gloss, and a lip butter. Um, so, the lip butter is the Kors lip butter, and I love this. This is in the mango um, scent, and it's just a super moisturizing lip butter that I like to use at nighttime, but you could use it other times, too. Um, it looks really scary in the pot, but it doesn't go on that bright, but it does give your lips a bit of an orange tint. Um, and this is like $12, um, which I think is a really good deal. It comes with 6 grams of product, um, and it's just really, really moisturizing, and I feel like a lot of people would like this, and they do have other scents and stuff. Alright, then I have two lipsticks, and I picked one that was really neutral, and one that was a little bit more bold and good for this time of year. So the neutral one is Mac Hue, which you guys have heard me talk about a ton. Um, it's almost gone because I use it so much. And Mac lipsticks are $15, if you don't know. And they are really, really great. They're probably my favorite lipsticks. I love them so much. And you can see it swatched right there. This is a glaze lipstick. Um, and I just think it's so gorgeous and would look good on a lot of skin tones. And then the other lipstick is really dark. Um, well, it doesn't come off this dark. And this is Max Rebel. And I feel like this is so good for this time of year. If you wore that, this and that blush I showed you, Max Plum Foolery, I think it could be so, so pretty. And I feel like this lipstick, again, would look really good on a lot of different skin tones. So you can see it swatched right there. It's just gorgeous. So I love both of those lipsticks so much. Um, and then for the lip gloss, I picked NARS's Super Orgasm Lip Gloss. And again, I feel like this lip gloss is super versatile. These are, I think, $24, the NARS lipsticks, or lip glosses, I mean. Um, and I have one other one, too. I have Turkish Delight, which is... Um, more of a like light milky pink um, but I feel like this one is really good over a lot of different lipsticks it does have like that gritty glitter in it but it is just so pretty to wear um, so that's why I really like it and you can see it swatched there alright guys so now let's move on to brushes so my first one is a foundation brush it's the Sigma F80 flat top kabuki and yes all of these brushes are dirty because I use them all the time um, and actually I'm going to go clean my brushes after I make this video. 
But this brush is so good. I think it's around $16 or $18, and it's so good for foundation. Um, I do prefer to use this one with the Laura Mercier foundation. I find it works better with that one, and um, I'll show you in just one second what I use for um, the Naked Skin Foundation from Urban Decay. Um, but I just really, really love this brush, and I think it would be a great brush for everybody. I think everybody would like this one. Um, the other thing I like to use for foundation is my Beauty Blender. Um, it just looks like this. It's dirty too. Surprise, surprise. Um, and I find that this works better with the Urban Decay foundation. Not that you couldn't use the foundation brush, but um, this one is more of a light foundation. And I find that it just works better. I like to apply it more with this um, Beauty Blender. And these are, I think, $19 or $20, I think. Um, but I really like this. And this, you just like run under water and it expands. And then you can apply your makeup with it. Then for a powder brush, I don't know if this is technically considered high-end, but it's the Real Techniques. Um powder brush and I just love this thing so much more than I like my Sigma one um, it's just really really good and I think it's around 10 or 14 dollars between those numbers um, and I just really really like this and I would definitely recommend that you check it out and for bronzer I like to use the Sigma um, F50 duo fiber brush um, I just find that it works best um, with this brush because it doesn't pick up too much product so I would definitely recommend you check this one out too um, uh, I think it's maybe around $20, 15 to 20 something like that. Next for blush, I have the MAC 168 brush, um, and I prefer this over the Sigma one. Um, this one, however, is really expensive. I think it's like $34-ish, um, but I just love this brush so much. It's a bit smaller than the Sigma one, which I like because I like my blush to be more precise and a little bit more um, like dramatic, so definitely check this one out. Then I would definitely recommend that you check out the Sigma E65, which is the little tiny um, angled brush. I like to use this for my eyebrows, so um, I use this one every single day. So I definitely would say it's a necessity, and I think this one is like $10. Then we have the um, E30, which is the little pencil brush, and I use this one fairly often too um, to put shadows underneath my eyes, or if I want a really, really small amount of shadow um, on my actual eyeshadow look, then I'll use this. But this is a really great brush, and again, I think this is like ten dollars. Then, of course, we have just the normal eye shading brush, the E55. Um, this again is ten dollars, and I mean, this is obviously just an important brush to have. Then I have um, the Sigma E25. Again, this is ten dollars, um, and this is my favorite blending brush. Um, this is really the only one I use. I also have one from Mac. I, um, I don't really have a preference. Um, the MAC one is the MAC 217, and this one is like $23. Um, so obviously the Sigma one's a lot cheaper, and they're basically the same thing. Um, but yeah, these are my favorite types of blending brushes, basically the only blending brush I use. So yeah, that's all of the makeup and brushes that I chose for this high-end starter kit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you want me to do a drugstore um, starter kit as well. Um, also make sure to subscribe if you have not already. I'm almost at 500, which is really exciting. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.